This fun plant I bought purely for aesthetic reasons. In 2019, I had brought in this plant and it was about 4 feet in length. In 2020, I made a cut in the main stem and I wanted this plant to diverge into two sections, into two side branches. And today, I think it's about probably 6 feet, somewhere around 6 feet in its height. Now, in the last 3 to 4 years, here is what I have learned about this plant. Number one I want to talk about is this major challenge that everybody faces with this plant. When you buy it from the nursery, it looks something like this. The leaves are really tight and closed. It looks perfect. The way I imagine this plant is I'm going to place it next to my sofa in the living room and it's going to look perfect. But most often what happens is that it starts opening and this is somewhat the stage two when you've brought the plant in from the nursery, probably about a month or three months in this is how it looks and then sometimes it reaches the stage three or much worse so why is this happening in today's video i'm going to focus on two major challenges that everybody faces for this first challenge or the issue that everyone faces that the plant starts opening and the leaves start drooping i have two plants to explain this practically here this is a dwarf fiddle leaf. The leaves are relatively smaller compared to this one. The care of the plant is the same. This plant may gain the height of this plant, but the leaves will still remain smaller in size. However, two major differences between these plants is about where these two plants were kept. So initially, this fiddle leaf was kept outdoors in an east facing balcony. And then I brought it in because during the rains, the monsoon, the light availability was much lower for the plant. So I kept it under these grow lights. You would see that the leaves at the top portion are tighter the way we want this plant to look like. But the lower leaves have sort of opened. Whereas in this plant, the leaves remain tighter and closed. The dwarf one was kept in the balcony here, north facing balcony. This was kept in doors. So I'm going to pull in my phone. This app, Luxometer, you can use any kind of app. Just measure the difference of light availability in your house. Lux is basically the measure for light availability. You would notice when you remove the curtain at the same spot, a very sheer curtain like this also makes a huge difference. This difference of light is what causes the difference in the style of these plants growing. So essentially this plant is very sensitive to light availability. And honestly, I've learned this over four or five years now because I always aspired for that perfect look looking fiddle leaf. And I was like, what am I going wrong? One thing and the only thing I realized that made the difference was the intensity of light. So if you have a fiddle leaf fig, here is my recommendation. Keep it outdoors. When we're talking about keeping it outdoors, it should be kept in a space where there is about three to four hours of direct sunlight falling on the plant. Or if it is kept, let's say, in a north facing balcony or a window where there is not direct sunlight falling on it, but what I've seen in the morning, at least 1000 or 1500 lux of light should be falling on it. Now do not compare these luxes with the lux of the tube light, the tube light intensity or the regular lamp that we keep inside our houses. What I'm referring to is natural light intensity. So north facing window also this plant will do fine. For example, this one has been kept in north facing and it hasn't opened up, it does well. But what happens is that the sun just crosses very close to the plant and it's somewhat northeast, so it works out for it. You would always see your plant is growing in the direction to try and reach for more light. So not only the leaves move, but also the stem direction changes. So here clearly, you know, which direction the plant was trying to reach out because this was the outside part of the balcony. Now to correct this, you can place a stem as a support. This also happens, this Tilting also happens when the weight on the top increases, like in this one here, the bigger one. So you would see that I have added a cane support here, the bamboo support here. 
Lastly, there could be also a case where you need to repot the plant, but be very, very careful. This plant has shallow roots, meaning on the top you would see roots coming out, but that does not mean that your plant needs repotting. You have to check at the base. Now, when you keep this plant outdoors, you have to take care of two, three points. First, there shouldn't be noon sun, afternoon sun falling on the plant. Otherwise, you would see that the plant develops these brown marks, striations, brown color patches. It'll get burnt. The second important thing is that if the plant is kept indoors, then the grow light should not only be falling on the top of the plant, but also the sides. Therefore, this plant on the top is tighter, but the lower portions have sort of opened up. Third thing, humidity. Now, humidity is kind of important for this plant. In fact, I've also listed this plant in the ones that act as air purifiers because they help in removing mold and fungus spores from the air because they help in reducing the humidity in there. So generally if a leaf fig does better when the humidity of the space is on the higher end. If the humidity is lower, for example Mumbai humidity is just perfect to grow this plant. Bangalore humidity is also good. But let's say Delhi, Haryana, Punjab, North Indian plains. The humidity is on the lower side, on the drier side to grow this plant and you would see that it becomes papery on touching. So that is a humidity problem with the plant. If you are just concerned about the aesthetics of this plant, then you have to have to keep it outdoors. I know we aspire to keep this plant next to our sofa, but there's not much you can do about it. If you want a pretty growing fiddle leaf, then probably for a month keep it outdoors, for a month you can bring it indoors. As for the question, okay, got it Ekta, but how about you know the leaves that have opened now, what will happen? Will they come back and close? Well, not really. <laughs> I am so sorry to disappoint you. Now that you can't fix the open leaves, the top leaves might go back to the closed tighter position. The lower leaves will mostly just remain open that way. The only thing you could do, however, is prune your plant, meaning remove the unnecessary leaves. If, and this is purely for aesthetic reasons. We are not doing for the health of the plant. We are not doing this for the health. We just, we want a plant, the, we just want the plant to look in a certain way, right? So these leaves are going downwards. We just clip them. There's nothing wrong with these leaves. It's just that I want the plant to look in a certain fashion. And that's why I let go of them. In other news, I would like to share something very special with you all. Something that I've been working on, especially for the festive season for our garden up store. Introducing these uniquely designed metal planters. So we realized that in the festive season, people were asking for bigger planters. We have a huge range of small planters and in large, we primarily have ceramic. So there was a request for metal planters in bigger size. So these are eight inch planters. I think this is called beaten gold finish. <laughs> and we have two finishes. This is a copper finish and a golden finish. You can use them very easily, very convenient in your indoor space. They're meant for indoor plants. For who is not a fan of shiny stuff, I totally understand. We have also come up with very unique colors for metal hanger planters. And what you would find in these planters and not in other planters available elsewhere is that the ease of use. So the design we worked on and we made sure that they don't come with screws because those screws are slightly difficult to use. They also get rust. So instead, these are super easy to use. You just hang them like that. And this goes on your railing. So it comes in a set of five and set of three. I think my two favorite colors in these are probably the orange one and the green one. It's like a dull green kind. So earlier we had two kinds of watering cans. It was golden and black. There were so many comments. People were like, can you get some more colors? We've been listening to you. So we have these fun colors. I've personally spent a lot of time working on these metal 
watching cans and I am quite a fan of the green and the red one I would say. I think even for children they are fun colours to gift from me for the best of season. We are running a flat 10% discount on all our products on Gardener Store including soil, fertiliser, all the decor products. The coupon details will be under this video. You can use that coupon code and you can avail that discount on all of our products just for the weekend. It just makes the plant look neater. However, if you don't fix the lighting problem, then eventually you will not be left with many leaves, right? Because you will keep pruning the plant. For now, with these leaves, I might try putting them in water and see if I'm able to propagate. With only the stem, with only the leaf and the stem, they generally don't propagate. You need a node. I have many a times tried with just the stem cutting and in water. I will talk about propagation separately, but it doesn't work for me. I know that there are these Instagram and Pinterest videos, even I'm obsessed with them. And I see that people put that cutting in water and roots come out. It doesn't work for me. Only rooting hormone method works for me. Or what I would say is that if you want to save money and don't want to invest thousands of rupees in a huge one, instead get a smaller one and then start growing it because this also from four feet went over six feet right so it'll work out for you now the reason this happens is because the, when the plant is not getting enough of light it tries to spread its leaves it tries to increase the surface area of receiving that light so that it's functioning or the healthy process of photosynthesis for the plant can continue that way. That is purely the reason that the leaves open and then they close. Now, one small problem I have also faced with this plant is that the edge is brown. Now, the brown edges, if there's just one leaf, you can ignore it. But if it is a pattern across the plant, there is browning of leaves. I would say there is a watering problem. In most cases, if the top leaves are also or the new leaves are also browning on the edges then most likely you are under watering if only the lower leaves are browning then i would say that check for over watering yeah if you fix the watering this should take care of the browning problem a lot of people i read a lot of blogs i read a lot of online content where people say that it is bacterial infection fungal infection yes the brown edges or the browning of the leaf could be bacterial or fungal infection or some sort of an infection but you have to you have to also realize that all these infections the vulnerability of your plant to these infections increases when there is a watering problem so directly or indirectly the browning is related to the watering issue so you will have to resolve that generally you need to constantly check the health of your plant a good way is to constantly observe your plants. You should have a communication with your plants. I don't know about the talking bit, but definitely by just looking at your plants and constantly observing them, you would catch on the signals that they emit. For example, what direction they're growing in. Are the leaves opening up or they tight close leaves? So that is a light thing. If there are brown edges, then that's a watering thing. If there are insects, then you have to take care of the insects with some sort of a spray, neem oil spray, but insects are also related to a watering or a sunlight issue. I have tried to break down the challenges with the causes, what may be causing that issue that you're facing with your plant. I have seen people keeping 8 feet, 10 feet long fiddle leaf and I know that they come very, very expensive, over thousands of rupees. So I hope this video helps you. Thank you so much for watching. Also remember to check out this store. We have recently launched new things in plant decor. I hope you find them useful. Take care. See you soon.